I have to put on my glasses because these contacts were bothering the hell out of me. They're so dry. I need to see this video clearly, okay? Part three to her video series. This one is called, You Made Your Bed and Now You Have to Lie in It. Lie in quotations. Okay, girl, I see that. All facts, part three. Y'all ready? Let's get it. I still have enough respect to not expose you for the fraud you revealed. The only thing that's fraud... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Today, roll the clip. Uh -huh. Yo, who am I? I go by Jay. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. Still pop my lips, still snap. You know, I just kept being triggered with these. This lame ass bitch, and you trying to make it seem like you trying to make me look like I'm something I'm not. Like I just cut the phone off. Let's speak them receipts and them facts. Ooh, okay, so hold on. Let me say this. Part one, calm and collective. Part two, a little feisty. Part three, she's pissed now. Okay, she's pissed now. So let's see what happens. Let me back up. <laughs> I'll call the sales rep. I was like, it was so much back and forth because by this time, I've got the sales rep on speakerphone and we literally testing back and forth. I said, man, can you call her? For real? Call her. Okay, let's see. Pay this damn bill and I'm splitting the line like what? This could have been done an hour ago. You can't, can you answer the phone? It's the Verizon rep. Your first bill is ready, 157. Okay, it says it right there clearly. What does the number have to do with anything? You pay this bill and I'll plot the line. You're gonna... Hold on, man. I'll call her. She on the phone now. Okay. The sales rep said, Ma'am, if he doesn't want to take... The, the sales rep asked the guy, Are you a corporate store? He said, No, this is not a corporate store. And we need the pen. Ding, ding, ding. That was problem number one. And that was actually problem number two. Because it was missing information to make it problem number one. Let me tell you why she needed the pen. She needed the pen because she wanted account information. She wanted to see the bill. You have every right to want to see the bill. For sure. But I didn't know she wanted to see the bill. I didn't know she wanted account details. Cool, Sway. I have the My Verizon app. I screenshotted the whole bill in detail, sent it to her. You know what she said? She said, That ain't adding up to 157, sis. I'm good. I'm getting my own line. I try to be an adult. I'll give you back this phone as well. Do what you please with it. You don't pay the bill, phone, you don't pay the bill, the phone gets disconnected, big period. Since you want to be funny, we're going to do this, run by my camera and laptop, or you're not going to, or you're not getting this phone, and I paid for all three, and I have receipts for all three, so if you want to get the police involved, you will definitely lose, but feel free. You cut my phone off, dead, in the middle of my supporters calling me, that's a problem. You want to be like this, let's do it. Why worry about a, disconnect, a disconnected line that you didn't pay the current bill on and already brought yourself a new line? Can't have your cake and eat it too. Like what I've been saying. So oh, that's not adding up. I'm not paying that. I'm good. I'm going to get my own line. She told me she was going to give me the phone back. Okay. And I can do as I please. I right. see her my P.O. Box. P.O. Box 846. <laughs> Greensboro, North Carolina, 27402. <laughs> Did she ever send it to you, girl? She sent back the okay emoji. Okay, so if you're going to go get another line, because remind you, the bill was due yesterday, and if you thought that I was going to let you allow interruption services on my phone because you didn't want to pay your bill, and I was not and did not kick out the 156 for your portion of your phone so your phone can be on when that's your services i wasn't about to pay for your device i was going to pay your services on your phone and your apple watch when you already knew the price when you already told me you ain't paying the price when you already told me you're going to send me the phone so why would i want you to send in the mail an active phone so somebody can steal the phone from the post office and have a, a phone on? Mm-mm. I did 
didn't even, after we got off the phone with the rep, it was like a three-way, four-way call. Our whole life, <laughs> our whole life was minding my business. I'm just trying to, you know, figure it all out. Figure it all out. Like, okay, she's not going to pay the bills, so it, is my phone going to get cut off? Child, I started getting screenshots, screen recorded. Uh, Tanika is exposing her number before the line gets cut off. I wasn't, bro. Oh, <laughs> this girl. Oh. That's funny. I wasn't even thinking about cutting the phone off, and she was already saying the phone was getting cut off. Oh, for real? Because she didn't pay the bill. Oh, for maybe real? that's why she was thinking the phone was getting cut off because she didn't pay the bill. So it's like, let me put my number out before Verizon cut the phone off because I ain't paying the bill because I told you, dear, I ain't paying the bill. See, that was the thing. Ah. Uh. She was trying to be petty and let y'all know secretively, hey, this phone getting cut off because I ain't paying that fucking bill. <laughs> so we got off the phone with the sales rep about 12, 10, 12, 05. By 1.15, yeah, the line was disconnected. And then I got this message about how, oh, so you want to play or you want to do this, give me back the camera, the laptop, all this, girl. For real. Now continue. <laughs> I guess per personal information to the following that we have shared um, to make it look like I'm the bad guy. You know what? I'll take the bad guy. Let you be Miss Innocent. You I'm not in Baby, if that's what you want. If everybody gotta hate me for you to be happy. Y'all hear how that sound? Girl. That don't make me happy. <laughs> I was happy minding my business, mm. doing my own content. And it did look on that way. Both of my channels. And that's a fact. Going out with my friends at night. Doing her thing. Having a fucking blast. And also getting involved and talking to her supporters, always on live for hours, mingling with them. She's too busy and too happy. Waking up like, damn, I'm living my 20 year old life. And still being able to bounce back and get my work done. I was, <clears throat> that made me happy. Mm -hmm. Not being harassed about why I'm hanging out with this person. And... Ciao. Well, this is the thing. Misery loves company. So, Neek not being at her 100% and not being as happy in life right now, dealing with her own demons, with everything that's going on up here. She, she didn't understand how she can break up with Jay, but yet Jay is living her life happy while she's struggling. I think that was the big problem that Neek couldn't fathom. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl. I gotta stop pausing this too because it's a 30 minute video, but I can't help it. Throughout this entire relationship, I gave you everything I had. Before we broke up, Damn. I told her, I've given you all that I got to give. Girl, I can't give you no more. Or well, ain't gonna be no more me. I can't give you no more. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? I can't give you no more. It, 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 I won't have nothing left. Have y'all noticed that at one point we was up and now it's looking like I don't have anything left? Follow me. A, I'm alone. Completely. I have a great, a great team around. That's very contradictive. How you are alone completely, but you have a great team of people around you. I mean, I'm alone, but I Well, she's saying team because it's up. They're all acquaintances. I think that's what she's trying to say. I have Pixie. My dad. <laughs> He ain't here, <laughs> but this is his house. <laughs> Let's go. But for the most part, I'm alone. I'm for the most part, I'm alone. Moving back and forth, this apartment, that apartment. You literally told me that you were sick and tired of the apartment that we were staying in because maintenance was trash and ass. They ended up doing some shit to the apartment next to us and had the whole apartment smelling like spray paint and you were over it. You didn't want you didn't want to stay there. Whatever happened in your other apartment? Ain't gonna do with me, son. I don't know. Ain't gonna do with me, Wendy. Uh, I'm moving from Atlanta to Charlotte. I'm, it's a lot that's looking like I'm a little out of whack. 
looking out of wet. <laughs> Girl, keep that same energy. Because, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, when you on my line, is I'm living above my means and you got this to pay for, that to pay for, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, back in July, your vibes was all the way different. Your energy was different, uh, too. We just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You, you, you're hurting and just all this kind of stuff. But then, you know, you, you go, you, you're in the public eye. And then you start this video off with be, be yourself. You should have been yourself to your people. So they could have understood where you was at because let them tell you you're living your best life. You're happy. You're happy you're seeing. You're happy you made any decisions. You're happy that you got. But I saw right through that. I swear to God. I saw right through that. She did not look happy to me. I, I felt a lot of it was forced. Some type of consistency. Trying to get some type of consistency going on with yourself. Keep that same energy, baby. Right. But baby girl got some work. She can go. She Don't ever let nobody make you feel like you Home, girl. Don't, <laughs> let enough, don't let nobody ever make you feel like um, you cannot go home. Where else was I gonna go? I'm just glad I had somewhere to go. Daddy's angel. She can go there. And, 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 and oh, another thing, she's always thrown this up, held it over my head. I'm you like, got somewhere to go. I ain't never made her feel like you ain't got nowhere to go. I remember when we were moving out of her, her, the apartment that y'all met us in, we were moving out of that. But the apartment that we were trying to get into wasn't ready for us. So instead of me having somewhere to go and going there and telling her, look, I'll meet you when you figure it out. Me and her both went to go sleep in her brother's basement. I was right there with her in her brother's base basement, waking up. I don't, she wasn't working. She was taking me to work. When I got off work, she was picking me up, taking me to a whole nother job. When I got off from there, she was picking me up. <laughs> we was going back to the basement. So she was your personal Uber? Is that what you're saying? When she could have helped work along with you and do YouTube at the same time and create a better income and a better living for the both of y'all? I don't know. And live rent free. Um, you know, pay the car payment and the car insurance. The She's trying to speak so lightly on what my bills are. Baby, I'm going I'm to have the same bills as you one day, I promise. If not more. But just because I pay a little less than what you pay, what some, what my neighbor might pay, how am I in the wrong for how my daddy was able to provide for his children himself first? He had to provide for himself first. You know, have something to leave behind for my kids. This hours, baby. Hey. This ain't going nowhere. Hey. This forever gonna be home. Yeah, no. Forever. You know? And I ain't got no shame in it. You shouldn't, girl. Just because Nick doesn't have that, she should never make you feel guilty for having it. Never. God forbid if I go out in the next few months and go out the state and try to wing it on my own and I cannot. I'm coming back home. For, for sure. Before I sleep in my car for weeks. And not because I'm uncomfortable to sleep in the bed with you. But if I decided to sleep in my car because I ain't got no choice and I really ain't got nowhere to go, before I do that, I'm going to come home. And that's okay. And that's okay. Continue, though. She always held that over my head. You got somewhere to go. You can just go to your daddy house or he can pay your bills. My daddy don't pay my bills at all he might help out with some car maintenance because he's a man car maintenance is what he like to he like for he really like for me to uh not me but he like to buy the parts and he do the work himself girl if i need a brace today my daddy will literally not tell me to go and get somebody to do the labor to put the brakes on themselves he will go buy the brakes 
bring the car back, he putting the brakes on himself. And while he's doing that, I promise you, I'm at hand, I'm at his hand and his foot helping him. Bam. Learning. Yes, so girl. I can do it for myself yes, when girl. I need to. Because I can. Preach it. So when it comes to changing the brakes, rotors, tires, my daddy taught me that. Mm-hmm. Although we had to change some tires ourselves together before as well. Go ahead. And be able to survive. And have way more clarity than me because I'm over here cleaning up what was messed up. When I was... You call that cleaning up? I call it running, up, running away. You've been running away from your responsibilities. You've been running away from having ownership. You've been running away from taking accountability of your stuff you ain't had to leave them apartments that's that's a fact that's true you didn't have to you wanted to you just felt the need to have to do something gotta do something and i can do it because i'm getting this check so it'll get paid for and if it ain't getting paid for we'll run off on 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 it ran and ran off it's a whole victim thing she wants sympathy. She wants people to feel yeah, bad. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> if you, I believe Nick is 30 now. If you're at age 30 and you still don't have a place to call home, there's something wrong with that. That means, and what's crazy is that she's very intelligent. She's very goal oriented. She seems to be self motivated. But yet, you still have nothing to call it your own or a home to call your own. That's because you're not owning up to your responsibilities, just like Jay said. You keep running away. Stop running away. Stop running away. Face everything. <laughs> Contradicted. Before she say everything, she just said that we helped each other. So how we end up helping each other, but you took care of everything. Again, I had, um, I worked at a job where I making commission checks, working server job to server job. I was a shift leader. Where was my money going? Because what do I have to show for it? Yeah, that's true, girl. What I got to show for it? That car out there? I was working Instacart. Let me tell you how I got that car. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you about how I got this car. I had a white car. I was in Rock Hill, South Carolina doing Instacart. I got in an accident. The same type of accident that I had. That was my, that's like, <clears throat> okay, speak, speaking today, I've been in three accidents. But prior, at that moment, I was only in two accidents. The same way I had an accident with my, with my white car is the same way I had an accident with my red car. Um, uh, Hitting somebody rear end. So basically, I'm at a red light. The lady pushed the gas like she going. I do the same thing, but and by the time the she's breaking, I can't get to my brake fast enough. I busted my radiator. I was literally on a Instacart order. I called her, let her know. She was at a people house. I had to... Get a tow truck. I rode home with the tow truck. And when I got home with the tow truck, she wasn't there. It's okay though. I'm fine. I was, I was fine. Just like kind of like trying to figure out how I'm going to get back to Instacart. Because that was the only thing that I was working that was paying my bills. I'm talking about Instacart was paying me good. Like, I'm talking about, whoo, Instacart is my only job. I was making 800, 700, 900. I had got... I had worked Instacart so much from 8 o'clock a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. Taking breaks in between to cater to her. If I had to come home and cook, I did. If I had to come home You're because crazy, you needed to girl. run out somewhere, I did. So You're I was crazy. taking breaks, doing what I had to do. But I was working it so much. I made $1,000 every other week about three times with Instacart. I did. Well, so where was them $1,000 checks going? Well, she was home filming and editing which doesn't take 12 hours to do. I understand making one or two videos a day, but at the same time, it seemed to me like Jay was doing a lot more than she was, which is fine if they both agreed on it. What was some $800, $700, $600 checks going if I ain't do nothing? I ain't do nothing. That's crazy. But girl, any, any common sense person will know 
any relationship, there is no way in hell that one person is doing everything. There is no way in hell. Especially in a relationship of six years. But not only that, you guys. Let's talk about how I got this car. So I wrecked that car and uh, the tow truck people who let me know that I could go to this dealership in Rock Hill and they'll put me in a car. I was like, hey, we, we gonna see. I literally woke up that morning. I always wake up in the morning on like a go-getter mindset. So I woke up that morning. I'm in the leasing office so I don't wake her up because, Jesus. I'm in the leasing office so I don't wake her up. I'm doing my little online quote, on, you know, online. I get somebody to call me. They done a whole lot set me up an appointment. They making me feel confident. Me and her get an Uber. Did we get an Uber? I think we ended up getting a rental. We did something. It was, it was, it was backwards as hell. But I think we ended up getting a, a rental and an Uber, or Uber and a rental. It, it, was, it was just backwards as hell. But then we ended up, you know what I'm saying, going to the dealership. That man let me drive this car off the lot, not paying him nothing. He was so secured, cause he seen Instacart shows. I got paid weekly with Instacart, so I showed him what I was making every week, and I had let him know like how important it was that I had gotten a car that day because that's how I was. He seen it. He was like, "Oh yeah, you making?" <laughs> he, he was calm that he was gonna get his money, so he let me drop off the lot. But I had to come. As soon as my check came, my check was $600. I had to give that whole check to that man. Do you not know from that day forward, I was every week having a, a payment for that car. So my actual car payment, because I got paid weekly, they made it work for how I got paid. It's called smart, smart plan payments, smart payments, something like that. Basically, they, uh, they can take your bills. But girl, you don't even got to explain all that though. You don't even got to explain all that. You know what you did in the relationship. She knows what you did in the relationship. She's already, the manipulation is working. She's already making you feel guilty. To where you had to explain yourself. And there she goes, winning as a victim. Like that's not, girl, you don't got to do all that. Girl, I ain't even listening to this part right now because that shit bothers me. That whole... Manipulation of the mind, you know. She's a co-signer. She had to co-sign for me because they just. <clears throat> she had to co-sign for me because of my credit. And basically, if they did not receive a payment from me, they would go to her for the payment. Co-signer. If they can't get the payment from me, they would go to the. They would go to her next. If my dad was a co-signer for my car, if they couldn't get the payment for me, they would go to him, co-signer. Go ahead. Everything. Everything. But this is not about finances. But yeah, you're bringing it I up. I care everything to the point where it was your mental, your health, practicing on your well. You follow me? This is my point. But yet, yeah, she was working jobs, though. She was practicing her own wealth. Up to this point, I have treated you like a pure queen. We have had our ups and downs. That's what happens in relationships. There's nothing you can say to me that'll make me feel bad for what we have gone through the past six years. I Other than you being the victim and never owning up to it? Other than you being uh, <clears throat> this manipulative person no ownership i mean i'm not here to make you feel bad i just want you to at least while you growing up and maturing and while you in your 30s i need you to at least have some type of accountability and ownership on your faults girl because we all have i can count on my hands my feet your hands and your feet how many times i had to take the blame i had to be the blame I had to own up to that. It was some tough stuff I didn't even own up to. I just owned up to it so you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, so I'm sick of arguing with you all the time. She's funny, y'all. Her energy. I did it. I'm sorry I did it. Damn. <laughs> you got tired of hearing, hearing it too. Fuck it. How much I was sorry, but God, I got tired of being to blame. Fuck it. It was kind of like, damn, what did I do? Okay, well, shit, how I'm going to fix it? You asked me how I'm going to fix it, but then I guess I'm going to fix it this way. <laughs> Get it over and done with. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's the video. 
you had to grow. We fought. Uh, you know, we helped each other. All that stuff. We, we helped each other, but she did everything. Uh -huh. we bills, Girl, we know. We paid bills together, but she did everything. What? We caught that. All of that. Okay. We People with common sense did. <laughs> we can't take that away from each other, but you trying to take all the credit for doing everything. I know, girl. All that. I treated you like a queen. I still like Neek, by the way. I'm not against her as a person. It's just in their relationship, like, the way she went about that video, I, didn't really, I really didn't like it. That's something you will never, ever be able to take away from me. And you know that. But you can play this little facade and act as if, you know, you queen Dana Lane and, and, and you did all this by yourself. Cool. You got that. But I will say this. I still have enough respect to not expose you for the fraud you really uh -oh. The only thing that's Here fraud... Here we go. Here we go. Today I wrote a clip. Oh, no. I did it. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second, y'all, because I, 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 gotta, I gotta listen to everything that's going on. It's 1.27 p.m., unknown day. Screen recorded by Tiffany M. Draper. I don't know who that is. Whoo! I don't know why I got anxiety, but I do. Girl, you coming with it. Here we go. The only thing that's fraud. Here we go. Today I wrote a clip. And if I did it, I'm going to tell you I did it. I don't give a fuck. You damn right I wrecked her car. She wrecked the car. We, the car that she got now is in both of our names. She just wrecked them. I mean, come on. We could, we could go toe for toe. Yeah, I wrecked that trash ass car with them bald ass tires. About killed me. The damn car about killed me. Yeah, I wrecked that piece of shit twice. I think them. I think that wreck, them both of them wrecks was meant for her. She should have been in the car. Dang. But I took the I took the hit for both of them. It's all good. So I'm a back fucked up now. What else y'all got? Tell us about the only thing that's fraud. Oh my god. From you. Ain't from me. From you. I can't believe. Ooh. You felt like that. You felt like that. You feel like that. Do you not know both times? I'm sorry. Let me at least count one time. Cause by the second time I was I was over. I'm like, God damn. She done wrecked this shit again. Again. But the first time you wrecked that car when you had your plane, when you was facing traffic and the 18 wheeler was on its way towards you and you was crying because you was on your way to the hospital, had me worried. I dropped everything. Everything. I told the job I gotta go. I was right there. And not, not one time Damn. did I ever think anything as low as that. Wanted anything. Damn. I'm sorry, girl. You want to talk about respect? Damn. You should never wish that upon anybody. Not even your worst enemy. And this was the girl that you were in love with? You spent six years with? That is crazy. That's crazy. You ain't got none. I no longer have no respect for you. Gotcha, for girl. For the simple fact I get it that now. clip. I get it now. That deaded it. I get it. Deaded it. Damn. Deaded it. It. So yeah, that's about the only thing that's fraud. That's something I'm gonna keep to myself. I know y'all out there, y'all want that. Y'all wanna know the fraud she really is. I'd rather not share that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather keep that shit to myself for me. But I tell you what, y'all wanted to know why we broke up. That's why. You want to know the rest? Stay tuned. I think everything Woo. that I pretty much wanted to say or add on, <clears throat> I think I said, um, again, you want to know what made me get so... Look at me and, and talk to me when I'm talking <laughs> to you, baby. 
you wanted to know what got me to the point of you know what made you put the personal out there and blah like that's what did it mm. okay i'm beyond fed i've been damn near harassed like jay she ain't fucking harass you bitch <laughs> girl all them fucking voice <sighs> messages all that yelling back and forth because I'm doing single shit. Not only that, she gets on the internet and she's like, feed me this, feed me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me this, tell me that. Wanting this information, y'all in the pot, y'all in the kitchen in the pot, y'all damn near water whipping shit up. I'm talking about making it from scratch. And she's taking it. And then she comes to my phone with, you allow someone to call me out my name, and this is when I had respect, cause I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't letting that go down. Somebody was trying to call her her name, I ain't what, I wasn't responding. Blocked, hide from Instagram, live, all that. But where I'm at today, mm. I don't want you. Bam. I don't want your situation. I don't want to be in any situation okay. with you. I want you to leave me alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. She ain't going to though, girl. She still has a video to post. There is no love. There is no respect. There is no friendship. I don't envy you. I don't hate you. And I ain't got no grudge. Because I've already let go. I've... <laughs> I've been good. I've been doing my own everything, my own content. My my, I, I'm not gonna say that because y'all think I'm worried about who she. Leave me alone. Just please leave me alone. Don't worry about who my boo is. Don't try to wish me well. We don't need it. We don't need it. And don't try to say I ever asked you about who you, I never asked you. I never, I never was worried or pressed who you were spending your time with. None of that. I just wish you stay off my phone. Mm. Stay off my line. Like I owe you something or like I'm your bitch. Because I've been not your bitch since June. And another thing, I wasn't going to allow you to humiliate me again. From the last retrograde broke up. For real. You I was wondering why is she letting her make videos about this retrograde thing? It's like a it's like a slap in the face. It's like she's laughing at her. Like, I was wondering about that. But I just thought that's how their their friendship was after the breakup. You hesitated. You did not hesitate at all to make that public. But I was so much in a wrong when you broke up with me in June. I put on my Instagram story and black and white single, and here I am. You exposed us to the internet. Now. <laughs> Girl, did you just do this four months ago? I told you, I think Nick is more sensitive and more emotional. Six, I'm sorry, six months ago? You did the same thing about six, eight months ago. You made a YouTube video, and you made a Instagram post about mm -hmm. the Instagram story and letting it go away for 24 hours. That's why my first reaction video to them was J Vibes finally speaks out because she always stayed quiet about everything. She made a whole post. That thing followed to the 20. You put so much emphasis and energy on breaking up with me. People mm -hmm. didn't even know that we had really got back together after breaking up in August 2018. I'm worth more than, I'm worth more. I'm happy, I want you to leave me alone. And that's just, that's about it. If need to be, I need to address anything else, I will. But just leave me alone. Leave her alone. And that's, <laughs> That's that's the video, y'all. Ooh, girl, you got me with that's that video with right that now. secret recording, though. Stay tuned 
for some J Vibes content where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Please make sure you're subscribed to my fitness channel, J Fitness Vibes. Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and my Snapchat. Also, subscribe to me on the week too. Description is down below in the description box. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not thanking you anymore. Cause I don't, cause now you feeling like I owe you my damn life. Mm -hmm. I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you my life. I don't owe you a dollar. I don't nothing. owe you any equipment. I don't owe you nothing. nothing. So I'm not, cause even after the breakup, I was, I'm appreciative for what she gave me and thank you for her doing this and that and I'm not thanking you and I'm not giving you no more of my appreciation or my Girl, energy. she hasn't even thanked you yet. Because you did it. She hasn't even thanked you yet. Ness. She ass. should she, in her video she hasn't she didn't even thank you for anything. That's a sad part. So, y'all like this while she was sitting at home all day doing YouTube and you're bringing in money from your 9 to 5 job. She didn't even thank you. <laughs> how how was she able to do that? Stay at home and do YouTube? She was able to do that because you had that nine to five job to still bring in the income. She needs to thank you because she's at 150 now and her and, and subs. I'm waiting for that thank you. It didn't start from a pen. It didn't start from a pen. No, it didn't start from a pen. It, it was it was way before that. Way before the pen. But I'm out. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I'm telling you. That was good. That was a good video series. Um, I hope you guys watched my videos from beginning to end. I know these videos were long, but I still felt the need to react to it because I do follow these ladies. And they also helped promote me. I'm a subscriber, I'm a supporter, and I don't pick sides. But as you can see, in my reaction to these videos, <sighs> I'm understanding J Vibes a lot more than I am Neek. All right, y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel of Bliss and Pris. That's me and my wife's uh, vlogging channel. All right, y'all. See you in the next video. Peace.